are some of the other pies? I know that you visited uh, a bunch of pizzerias uh, over the years. Who who were? If you could just mention a few, I'm sure they were all great. Who were some of the Chica- ones that you like? Well, Jonathan Jonathan Goldsmith has one in Chicago, and it's the best Neapolitan pizza I've ever had. And uh, his pizzas are amazing, and right. it's kind of funny. He's a good guy. He's a, an next social worker too. And when we went to uh, Napoli and uh, Rome, I asked him, "Could you give me a list of some, you know, some um, good pizzas?" He gave me like four pages of, of, yeah. of restaurants. I'm like, a uh, shout out to Jonathan. His his place is called Spacanopoli in Chicago. What a wonderful guy! And oh, and uh, really good. Uh, I was again fortunate to know him through John Arena. John Arena, right. uh, I think I think Jonathan reached out to John, and they've become very, very close, very good. That's friends. my next thing I was going to say is John Arena is another gentleman who has Metro Pizzas, and he he's another one that really, really cares. And um, the his partner, I guess it was uh, was Chris Decker, who was a pizza maker, and he's really, I mean, I'm really proud of him. I saw him when he first started, pretty much, and now he's got his own place called Truly Pizza in Dana Point beautiful beautiful restaurant and he's probably one of the most creative people his pieces are like a work of art yeah oh my goodness um, and they work that's the yeah. thing you know it's not just you know looking good and tasting bad is not the best thing but when they look great and they taste great oh that's it absolutely absolutely just an amazing guy and uh and and he and chris very very close tell me about chris's place which you've been to uh it's a brand new place or it's been open not yeah, that it's, it's about maybe a year old now. It's uh, it's it's called Truly Pizza. It's in Dana Point, so it's a block away from the ocean. Um, it's kind of two story, modernistic, and just great pizzas. You know, he has a few other things, salads and stuff, but primarily pizzas and just um, beautiful artwork. And I don't remember. That's one thing my memory. You know, after after eating seventy three, you know, everyone asked me, "What's your favorite?" I can't really tell you. I can tell you what I like, but um, sure, sure. But his pizza, the same thing. He uses a lot of you know things like goat cheese and figs and whatever seasonal. And it's a, um, he's a he's a great guy. I really like him. Chris, Chris, um, is a wonderful, wonderful man. He has an incredible Instagram page where he showcases all the pizzas, and they are you could take them, gorgeous. and frame them, put them up on the wall. I mean, they're wonderful to eat but they're works of art i mean it's just yeah. beyond they look so delicious and wonderful and they taste just as good yeah. i bet I know, they I- do.